Welcome back to Good Day. So it's a rite of passage grabbing your lunch box and heading off to school. But how do you make sure what's in that lunch box will actually get consumed at school, not traded with another friend <laughs> either, right? <laughs> Suzanne to Jay Z of OSU Extension has some ideas for us. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. So first of all, can we talk about the elephant in the room? What's this guy? He's not this going to This is our the friend lunchbox. Lucas, who just kind of comes <laughs> along for programming and everything okay. Okay. to keep us cheered on. I think and we know what fam, you know, OSU, yeah. you get <laughs> it. I, I get it. Okay, so we've got a really nice spread here. Talk yeah. us through some, some things that we should be thinking about. Um, obviously, I think the containers we put things in can help us prepare. Right, you can lunch, think right? about it from a sustainability standpoint. Mm -hmm. You buy this once for that investment, and then you can keep, I mean, it'll last years, oh, right? Yeah. And instead of purchasing maybe disposable plastic bags right. or things like that, mm -hmm. you know, um, you're, you're kind of saving the environment a little bit by okay. that. Mm -hmm. um, plus, a lot of them have neat little gadgets. So like this mm -hmm. one is a salad one. Okay. And it has the um, the ice pack That's right like inside. Oh, in there, yeah. Right nice. inside and okay. a little container for uh, dressing. Okay. okay. Um, and then it all collapses together too. Oh. Like so one of the mm -hmm. things we really want to think about is food safety, right. making sure that anything that's out of the refrigerator for more than two hours mm -hmm. is kept cool. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different, you know, that's different cute. packs. Um, <laughs> you know, these these we can find at like dollar stores yeah. and things like that. So keeping the the food cool so mm -hmm. it's food safe. Our kiddos aren't getting mm -hmm. you know belly aches in the right. afternoon from mm -hmm. food that might be, um, you know, spoiled. Spoiled, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. This one has the the ice pack right in oh, the lid. In the oh. lid. Um, okay. I and don't know that I've seen that. Me either. So that's okay. a nice way to keep things. So that's one, you know, we want that sustainability, you, you know, reusable packaging. Mm -hmm. We want our food to be safe. Mm -hmm. And then something that we use in our classes is my plate. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking at how can we include all five food groups mm -hmm. into our meals to get optimum nutrition because mm -hmm. each food group is going to give us something different, right? right. Mm -hmm. So if you think about like dairy foods, it's going to give us calcium vitamin D, really important for those growing bones. Mm -hmm. Protein food, it's our, our muscle building, our cell building. Mm -hmm. And of course, fruits and vegetables are going to give us lots of vitamins and yeah. minerals that are going to keep us healthy, you know, mm -hmm. safe, mm -hmm. uh, strong. So when we're thinking about all these different things, we can use that as a guide. But really, you know, talk to the kids. What do they like? Yeah, because we you, want them to eat it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, I was going to right? say that. So yesterday, Suzanne, we had cake here on the show. So sure. I was able to take one of those cakes uh, to my nieces. Mm -hmm. They're not school age, yeah. but they enjoyed it so much. And I don't know <laughs> if they would see this plate of vegetables, <laughs> if they would react the same way. So how do we get the young ones to enjoy foods Exposure. Like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. If we're not giving it to them, they're never going to try it and they're never going to eat it, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just a couple little, you know, vegetables. These um, are kind of cool. They're purple. Those are green beans. You can eat those raw, uh -huh. you know, and put beans, them in the dip. Purple. Maybe kids might like that. I don't know. And, yeah. and incorporate what are their tastes, what are their likes. So, you know, you see a lot of kids eating, like, spicy chips and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Why don't we make a dip that's spicy okay. that they could put the vegetables in? Mm -hmm. My kids really liked um, pickles. Uh -huh. So it's, yes. a, it's a dill dip <laughs> that has pickles in it. And you can dip your your vegetables or your chips in it. Uh -huh. And you, you know. get that pickle fix or that, that hot pick, chip that fix. That sour kind uh -huh. of flavor, uh -huh. right? And I used uh, plain yogurt. So you're getting okay. some more that calcium, uh -huh. you know, that we need and everything. Uh -huh. um, and again, like mixing up colors, flavors, that uh -huh. kind of thing. So this is yellow watermelon. Fun. And yellow it's got watermelon. That's fun. Some cool. uh, tahini seasoning. That's uh -huh. that chili lime flavor. Uh -huh. So it just really kind of perks it up. Uh -huh. um, you know, these are sweet potato chips. So there's, your nieces might look at this and say, oh, chips. It's a okay. chip. And they would just grab it because <laughs> yeah. that's what they're used to. Yeah, exactly. But they're sweet potato chips. Exactly. Okay, so, so you know, get a little of that vitamin there. A, you mm -hmm. know, to help with our eyesight okay. and stuff. All right. Um, nuts and seeds are a great thing to um, pack in, and you could get something that's kind of spicy flavored, mm -hmm. but we're getting protein. We're getting, again, some of those minerals, those vitamins that we need. Um, and then, you know, other ways to incorporate vegetables. I like to call this my lazy caprese salad. <laughs> it's string cheese and tomatoes with just a little bit of uh, dressing on it. That's okay. your speed with the string cheese. It is. You like that and, a lot. and my daughter likes string cheese too, and she loves tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe splash a little of dressing on there. Yeah. 
And I'm, and looking, it's easy, and I'm, right? look, I'm looking at this cup uh, with water, uh, yeah. but there's a lot of there are a lot of colors mm -hmm. on this cup. Is that cup to encourage drinking water? It sure is. Yeah. So, um, you know, when you think about our brain, it's like nearly 40% water. And if we get dehydrated, are we thinking as well mm. as we could be in school? Mm. You know, taking that test, doing those math problems, mm -hmm. those kind of things. Yeah. So drinking water is a cool thing and a good thing. And this is kind of a neat one because it's got these different um, health messages. And if as the you kid drink has, the day. yes, as mm -hmm. you do it out throughout the day, you can just kind of move your mess. Like I've completed all of these oh. things, yeah. drinking water, game. eating uh -huh. some healthy foods. Good. Okay, good so that's stuff. just a little, another fun way to encourage. Mm -hmm. Think outside the box with uh, sandwiches, mm -hmm. you know? So I have uh, a tortilla here, you could wrap anything in there, a little peanut butter and a banana and roll it up, kind of cut like. it, looks like a little sushi maybe, <laughs> something like that. But I mean, you could do um, maybe some like toaster waffles mm -hmm. with some ham and cheese, you know, just creative oh, yes. things huh. to encourage the kids to eat the food. So you okay. have a few ideas now. I do. I'm really digging this lazy caprese. <laughs> so anything that has the word lazy in it when it exactly. comes to making lunch. Because it's hard. You know, we're, we're working all day. We come home. Then we want to try to prepare things for the next day. Mm -hmm. or we're getting the kids out the door. And so you want it to be easy, but you also want to make sure they eat it. And you want it to be nutritious all at the same time. So there's a there's a lot to consider. It's when a we're, nice yeah, little combo lunch. package for all of that. Yes. Think about like, when you're you're making dinner what what could you use left over uh, to put in the lunch the next sure. day so if you maybe cook some chicken you could wrap that up in that exactly. in that tortilla right mm -hmm. if you're having some fruit with your dinner mm -hmm. it's already chopped from mm -hmm. last night you just need to put it in the container just dump it in there so okay. yeah make it a make it a family conversation uh -huh. about what you like and and what you you know want to eat mm -hmm. and then think about those things of like with the chips mm -hmm. buy the whole bag right and Instead of all of the individu out. individually packaged, mm -hmm. saving a lots of money, yeah. less packaging, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And put it in a reusable so that you're not yeah. buying those Ziploc bags. Yeah. Okay, good. some great suggestions. Yeah, We're really getting good. started here. Thank you so much for being here you're today. You're welcome. Yeah, Thank so you. Hopefully everybody has a good Yeah, I love here. these cool containers, I know. Too. <laughs> they have all kinds of things. Yeah, okay. super cool.